Hey everyone, this is a place for stories and learning, and you're going to get some learning today, no stories. So if you like what you see, you can subscribe, well, subscribe button about there, you can click that, um, tell your friends, share. Um, I normally, the last five learning videos that I've done have been idioms, and idioms are very, very important in English. Um, check out at the end of the video, you'll see a playlist and you can click that and see those videos. Today, I'm going to do one of three parts and I'm doing confusing words where you get two words that are very similar and um, they're common mistakes. I've been teaching for 20 years and these words come up all the time. Students just confuse them. So I'm going to try to clarify a little bit. So the first uh, pair of words are going to be advice and advise. Advice and advise. Okay, advice is a noun. So I will give you some advice. To learn English, you need to study and practice. And a lot of you don't have a native speaker to, to practice with. I will be your native speaker. I hope to help as many of you as I can. So advice. My advice to you is to do something. I want to give you advice. Here is a piece of advice. That is, advice is a noun. Advise is a verb. I would like to advise you on something. Um, I advise you not to eat the oysters at a truck stop. Probably not good. I advise you to study your English every day for 30 minutes if you can. Look at words. Um, look at the idioms. Watch English language TV. Um, I advise you to do that to get better. That is my advice to you. So we have advice and advise. One is a noun, one is a verb. Everybody understand? I'm looking. Nobody looks confused. All right. Next. Affect and effect. Affect with an A, affect with an E. Affect is a verb with an A. Something affects you. It uh, alters you. If you can think of the word alter and affect with an A, they go together. It affects you. Um, sad movies affect people. Looking at um, um, pictures of... of War will affect a lot of students. So that's it. Um, if I were to tap, that would affect you negatively. You would hate the tap. How does that affect you? That's the verb. Affect with an E is the result. What are the effects of this medication? If I give you this medication, what will be the effects? The effects are drowsiness. Um, and that's the result. So think of special effects in movies with an E. So that's a f effect with an A and effect with an E. Next, two words that are, that are interchangeable. One's British, one's American. Among and amongst. Among and amongst. Both mean the same. You've got a group together among friends, you know, you know, something is among and amongst, but among is more American than it is British. But here's where a play comes in. You have the word among and you have the word between. Among versus between. When we use among, we're talking about a group. There's more than two. So the, the among, I found my paper hidden among the other papers on my desk. There were 50 papers, and this was among the papers. It was a So it was among, it was in a mess. Now, between, you put something between something. So I've got three fingers. This finger is between these two fingers. Between is, is the idea when you're talking about two things. You can pass, students will pass messages between each other is back and forth so among is with a group and between is with two 
Hopefully you understand that. Um, among and between. Now the next three, sorry I'm doing this, we have Assure, A-S-S-U-R-E, Ensure, E-N-S-U-R-E, and Insure, I-N-S-U-R-E. Assure, Ensure, Insure. Assure is to tell somebody it's going to happen or it's true. I assure you, I have 20 years experience teaching ESL. I have certificates. I taught overseas. I taught private school in Canada. I teach for uh, the school board. I assure you, I am qualified to teach you. It is true. Ensure is to guarantee to make sure of something. When I give a test, I, I, I like to ensure that no one cheats. So you move people around, you take their phones, you close their books. Uh, I, I think <laughs> I like to ensure that no one cheats. I don't know if people do or not, but you ensure it. You make sure that it happens. And then insure, I-N-S-U-R-E, insure, is to put insurance on something. Yes. So you insure your house, you insure your car, and you have insurance. So you assure, I say that it's true. Insure is you make sure something happens, and insure is to put insurance on it. Uh, the next one is a common mistake that a lot of students make. It's breath and breathe. Breath and breathe. Breath is a noun. I took a breath. I am breathing. Breath has no E. Breathe has an E. So you hold your breath. And then you breathe. Your breath and breathe. So you must breathe. I tell my students, if you're doing a presentation, just breathe. Take a deep breath. Let it out, and then just breathe, breathe, and it's okay. Things will be okay. And another one, another two, is capital and capital. Capital with an A-L, there's a lot, um, a lot of meanings, but it can f refer to the uppercase, the uppercase, the capital letters. Uh, it can also refer to money, it's capital. You start a business, you need some capital. It refers to the city, where the seat of the government is. What's the capital of Canada, anyone? Capital of Canada? Ottawa, capital of Ontario, where I live, is Toronto. I don't live in Toronto, I live in Ontario. Ooh, uh, and that's capital. So Brasilia is the capital of Brazil, and so on. Capital, O-L, is the building where the legislature meets, the Capitol building. Uh, the Capitol is in Toronto. They have the, the Ontario government. And then in Ottawa, you have the Capitol there. So they talk about Capitol buildings. And a lot of the times, they're in the Capitol city. <laughs> so there are some confusing words for you. Okay, so here's three more of, of this group of 10. I think it's 10. We have compliment with an E, and compliment with an I. You see them? Compliment with an E is something that goes together. Things complement each other. You can have a certain uh, accessory that complements your shirt. Some women will wear a scarf uh, that complements their, their blouse. Uh, something just complements something else is that they blend and they go well together. People can complement each other. They go well. They balance. They work together. It complements each other. And the other thing, complement with an I, is something nice. You say something nice to somebody, and you say, I would like to compliment you on your English. You speak English very well. You um, read very well. Your pronunciation is fantastic. I'm giving you compliments, saying something nice to you. 
So complement with an E, something goes together and it works well. Some foods, some wines complement the meat or the meat complements the wine. And then a compliment is something nice. Wow, your f dinner you served was fantastic. You paired the wine and the meat. This was a great, great dinner. I am giving you a compliment. Okay, uh, the ninth group, disinterested and uninterested. So there's a difference. If you're disinterested, you're impartial. You don't have... You don't care about this side or this side. Uh, you want disinterested judges, impartial judges in a competition. You need a jury in the courtroom to be disinterested. You can't sway either direction. So when there's a contest, the judges can't be related to anybody in the competition because they will vote for that person. You need to be disinterested, impartial, neutral. Uninterested is, I have no interest in that at all. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Some people are uninterested in singing contests. So disinterested, you're partial or neutral. The judges were disinterested. We need to find disinterested judges to have a fair contest. And then I'm just uninterested. I don't care. I don't want to watch this competition. And that's uninterested. And finally, the last two are, are defense and defense. One's with the C and one's with an S. Defense with the S is standard American English. Defense with the C is usually British English. And that's that. So these are 10 groups of words that are confusing in English. Uh, I hope you learned something from it. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Let me know other words. I have two more parts of this video coming. So you might have missed some in this one, but they are coming up. So this is a place for stories and learning. I'll let everybody know my name is Bill. Everybody says, hey, place for stories and learning. I'm Bill. I am your teacher. I am your native speaker. 20 years experience. If you like this video, subscribe button is right about there. Boom. And uh, hit subscribe. Come back. I have idioms. I'm going to have these videos with confusing words. I have stories. I have jokes of the day. And I'm going to be doing some life hacks where you can learn some things uh, to, to lead a better life. So maybe not a better life. It just makes life easier. So thank you so much for your support. I'm trying to grow. I need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours. Um, hopefully I can get there. Keep coming back. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something and see you for my next video. Bye.